Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ron. DaVinci Resolve 20 Studio version is now beta. It's available for download. I'm going to leave the link below. And with this download, there's at least 100 new features and AI tools such as AI animated subtitles, which is great for social media like Instagram and is a great way to keep your audience engaged. These are the animated subtitles in DaVinci Resolve, the new release version 20. So DaVinci Resolve 20 is now out. And yes, I've still been flip-flopping back and forth between DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro, but I wanted to test out the DaVinci Resolve 20 new AI animated subtitles that exist. Okay, and let me show you quickly how this is done. I already have my video on my timeline. I'm on the edit tab here, as you can see. And all we're gonna do is select the voice or audio clip from the timeline go up here top menu timeline you're going to go to ai tools create subtitles from audio and then here most of your default settings can be left alone language is auto for caption preset i have subtitle default maximum value because we're doing something for something like instagram like i showed in the demo i'll leave it at a value of 21 line single and then just hit whoop, and then just hit create i just cancel it like I said, we're going to do this in one take. So auto subtitle 21 single create. It takes just a moment to analyze. This is a short clip, so it's only going to take a few seconds to pull it up. And here we go on the timeline. Here's our subtitles now showing up. And if I scroll across here, you're going to see you're going to see that already populated. Now, what you want to do to animate these, actually, let me, let me clear out some settings here because I think this is saved from earlier. So here's, here's our subtitles shown in the screen. Let me lower that volume. These are the subtitles showing in that screen, right? As you can see in the bottom here. And what I'm going to do is under the effects tab, I'm going to go to titles subtitles, animate, you're going to get these five options, lollipop, rotate, slide in, statement, and word highlight. The only two, in my opinion, worth using are the statement and the word highlight feature. So if I simply drag, like I said, you can see the, the text as it exists currently here. If I drag statement down into the subtitle menu, it's now going to use that animated effect and it's kind of small, right? But you can see it here in the bottom, right? So what I'm going to do is if I highlight my, all the subtitles, go over here to the right under the inspector tab, under track, I can change the color of the text and I can also change the background color. And I can also play with all the other settings. So if I want to move this up or down, which I did in the sample, I'll put it up here, increase the size a little bit. The text color is obviously white. You can change it to, you know, whatever you want. Actually, white actually from my testing looks the best. So I just, I'll just leave it at that. And then the background color, which is the color you're seeing populate as I'm speaking is this back color here is red. Same thing. I found the red actually looks the best in my opinion. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it at the red. That's where's the default value. So I'm going to leave it at red and then you can play around with these other settings like roundness, uh, slant, tilt, again, size. You can change, you can actually change the font uh, right here, the font, you can change it to, to whatever you want. I'm going to leave the default bold, light, you know, whatever you want. And there's some other things to play around with animation speed, the speed at which the animation goes. But if I just play this through, I'm going to turn the volume off on this. Actually, let me turn it back up, right? Well, then Premiere Pro, but I wanted to test out the DaVinci back up one more time play this through 
So DaVinci Resolve 20 is now out, and yes, I've still been flip-flopping back and forth between DaVinci Resolve and... and... You can see it works pretty good. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. There is a drop shadow that looks like it's burnt into the default settings. I haven't figured out a way to get rid of that drop shadow for some of the other parameters, but what you want to do is you want to... Tr we tried the statement animation. If you want to clear that, just go uh, highlight your subtitles here. You go over to the far right under your media clips, click here, remove, remove fusion. It's going to get rid of the statement animation I dropped in there. And we'll try this one here, word highlight, and we can do the same thing. I'll just bring the size up a little bit so you can see what it does. And then if I play that through. So DaVinci Resolve 20 is now out, and yes, I've still been flip-flopping back and forth between... You can see that looks okay. So if we clear it out one more time, remove from Fusion, go over here, oops, and we try these other ones like Lollipop. Let me bring the size up so you can see it a little bit. Not really a fan of this one. So DaVinci Resolve 20 is now out, and yes, I've still been flip-flopping back and forth. Clear that one out. And remove. Then you have this one here, which is rotate. I just want to bring the size up again so you can see it. Let's just play this through a little bit. So DaVinci Resolve 20 is now out, and yes, I've still been flip flop. Not really a fan of that one. And then you got another one slide in. I'm not going to demo all of them for you, but you get the idea. The best ones, again, the best ones to use, in my opinion, are the statement and the word highlight. I, I prefer the statement animation. And that's, that's really all there is to this. Like I said, you can play around with the parameters over here. The only other thing you need to know is it does seem a little, a little bit buggy. There are some things that I'm noticing I can't do. Like I would like to be able to highlight the individual text. So everything right now, when you select the color, everything's white. I would like to be able to change the, the text to be various colors, different colors, instead of a single color. Haven't figured out how that's done. This is still in beta, but it's good to play around with. Like I said, the drop shadow that shows up on some of these, because um, you do black on black, it's a little more obvious. There's a there's a drop shadow there, but I haven't figured out a way to get rid of that. It makes the text look a little strange, but that's why I'm leaving the default values of white for most of this. It looks a little better. And the other thing you want to be aware of is when you export your final file and you're under the deliver tab, just make sure you're all the way down here in your settings and and this option here to export your subtitles is enabled and I have it set to burn into video. If you don't have this enabled, you're not going to get, when you export this video, you're not going to get the subtitles showing up. Just something to be aware of. Other than that, cool little feature. Everything else I've seen to date is plugins that you have to pay for separately. So it's a nice little addition to DaVinci Resolve. I'd like to see Premiere Pro add it as well. Uh, it's not there yet. Again, everything I've seen is third party, which costs additional money. So it's nice to see DaVinci Resolve doing this. Again, I'll leave the link down below so you can find the DaVinci Resolves. I'm using the studio version. I don't think this is available in the free version. So you can download that if you want to play play around with it. That's it for this video. Hope you got some value out of it. See you in the next one. Take care.